A doctor at SSM Health is sharing what it's like to treat COVID-19 patients who are immunocompromised. Our Brandon Morano spoke exclusively today with SLU Hospital and Cardinal Glennon Chief Medical Officer Dr. Matt Broom about the challenges his hospitals face. Brandon joins us now live with the latest. Yeah, Mike, Dr. Broom tells me that this virus is a very, very big deal, especially for those people who are 60 or older, immunocompromised, or who have respiratory issues. Now, maybe nobody understands that better than Dennis Graham. He lost his wife, Juanita, to COVID-19 on Saturday. Hello? A phone call from doctors Saturday morning let Dennis Graham know his wife was dead. I was, that was my queen. Juanita Graham was a preschool teacher for 19 years at Walter Ambrose in Webster Groves. She was also a diabetic, making her immunocompromised. I got a call from the doctor Friday letting me know she wasn't uh, accepting the treatment and uh, we're just going to make your wife comfortable. Caring for immunocompromised COVID-19 patients like Juanita is a daily challenge for doctors like Matt Broom. You know, it's hard. He says the biggest hurdle is making sure hospital staff have the protection they need and making sure the hospital has enough equipment like ventilators to help treat the most vulnerable patients. I think that what the entire St. Louis region and what we're seeing also nationally is a true inventory of how many IC rooms do we have? How many ventilators do we have? Do you, you have enough right now? I'm sorry, what's that? Do you have enough right now? I mean, I think that's the, the question that's hard to answer, right? Leaving healthcare workers like Dr. Broom trying to come up with solutions to an ever changing problem. We're making predictions that are predictably unpredictable, right? Like it's, you know, I feel not to take shots at weathermen, but I feel like a weatherman some days, right? You're trying to project on data that changes constantly. Which is why Graham says slowing the spread is so important to save other people like his wife. If you don't have to go anywhere, stay home. And if, if it, let it be an emergency almost if you have to leave your home. And if you do leave your home, please wear masks, wear gloves, stay the distance away from people. This disease is no joke. I am a living witness to what it can do. Now, Dr. Broom also tells me while older people and those with underlying medical conditions are at higher risk, young people can still be affected too and spread the virus. That's why it's so important to follow those social distancing guidelines, Mike. Brandon, thanks. St. Elizabeth's Hospital in O'Fallon, Illinois has set up a triage tent outside the emergency room. It's to screen people showing symptoms of COVID-19. The hospital is working to keep patients with other health problems away from those who may have coronavirus. If someone is suspected of having COVID-19 or is in severe respiratory distress, they'll be taken into the hospital's emergency department through a separate door.